five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Level up. 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 Hey, Caps. Capricorn. How are you today? This week. I'm excited because Mercury is direct. And we have been through it this summer with all the eclipses and the retrogrades, Mercury and Mars and all the other planets that are retrograde but we are through with the eclipses and we are done with mercury retrograde for now so we are on the forward move and next week mars will be direct so i am extremely excited i'm leticia i'm here with your weekly horoscope for august the 19th through august the 25th so we start out the week in a great way of course like i just said mercury has gone direct and so that is hap that happened in the sign of Leo. Mercury is still in the sign of Leo. And for you, Capricorn, this is in your eighth house. So, you know, you could have had issues uh, with Mercury retrograde of getting the resources that you need to do the projects. You know, if you were trying to get your financial aid, if you were trying to get a loan. Uh, for home improvement or a business loan or uh, stipend or anything that has to do with other people's resources, other people's help for you. Uh, with Mercury Retrograde, this could have been dragging along. Could have been slowed down. Could have been issues with you filling out the forms properly and the forms get into the right place. But now that Mercury is direct, you know, things will be able to move along much more quickly. Um, you know, Mercury just uh, started moving forward. So as he continues to move forward, he will pick up strength and, um, and just move forward in this really robust way. And that's going to help you in this area. All right. So we have that happening. And then we have um, this trine that's been going on since the beginning of the month to help us with the um, with Jupiter and Neptune so Jupiter is in Scorpio Neptune is in Pisces so for you this is happening third house is Neptune and then Scorpio is in your 11th house so these are the houses that deal with communication with siblings uh, deal with communication with friends and networking groups so with this you could have just had people who want to um, introduce you to others, introduce you to people who can help you in your career, um, people who can just help you in life. With Jupiter in your 11th house, you know, this could be you meeting a partner through somebody that you know, meeting your lover through someone that you know, somebody introducing you. So again, this has been happening since the beginning of August. And so it will continue to happen through this week. So you want to take advantage of this energy. You know, this could be an energy that um, has found your siblings uh, and you joining up with, with a group of people. So your, your, your sister or your brother could have had a friend and then they introduce you to the groups of people that they are friends with. And through that, you are strengthened through these connections. You know, it could also happen that with Jupiter here in your 11th house, you could be receiving accolades. Of course, Jupiter has been in your 11th house since last October. And so with that, you could have already been receiving accolades, meeting new people, meeting people on the Internet, meeting uh, uh, your dates or lovers on the Internet or, or joining some uh, internet communities and so with Neptune joining in here this is just expanding that and causing it to be a beautiful time meeting beautiful people probably meeting people who are more spiritual or uh, more considerate very sensitive people Pisceanized type people so this is a very beautiful energy for you so continue to enjoy it while it lasts then Virgo the Sun is moving into the sign of Virgo uh, on the 23rd of the month and so for you this is happening in your ninth house your ninth house of uh, legal issues the ninth house of, of um, higher education the ninth house has to do with long-distance travel uh, marketing and promotion 
okay so with the sign here if you are in advertising if you need to promote your business if you need to promote your book if you are writing a novel the sun's energy this bright energy is going to help you be able to accomplish this the sun will be in the sign of Virgo for a month and this is always in this area for you during Virgo season the sun is always here expanding these areas for you so if you have legal issues going on the sun coming in here can help you not only the sun but then Virgo the sun will be in a grand earth trine for the next two weeks with Uranus and Saturn Uranus is in your fifth house of creativity and children and luck and then Saturn of course is in your first house okay so with these energies coming in here this is a beautiful time for you um, for you if your children need to go off to college this energy is here to help smooth all of that out if you are trying to go get your degree this energy is coming in here there's much needed change so the change is coming in with your creativity your ideas coming to you very quickly about what to do with your children or what to do if you are trying to start your own business this creativity is coming in here to bring about changes to your mind very quickly very brilliant ideas are coming in you're able to bring this to the forefront if you need to travel for long distances to get your business going this is the energy that's going to help you do that if you are writing a novel this energy is going to help you go ahead and get that completed right so all of these things could be happening any of these areas that I mentioned so this is all that I have for you for this week um, dear Capricorn take advantage these are your sister signs in this earth trine so it is really really going to bless you Saturn is stabilizing all of this change that is happening beautiful change for you so enjoy the week take this time to level up this is the time all right and I will talk to you soon